Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Box review. This time looking at a brand new Assassin's Creed set that I'm very excited about. It is, of course, the Assassin's Creed American Revolution Troop Pack. This is set number CNG10. It has 106 parts and retails for around $14.99. As you can see, this set consists of four figures. You get the highly anticipated Connor Assassin figure. You get three red coats, one of them being some sort of leader officer type. You get an additional her piece for Connor, a spur pistol, and the terrain piece behind it. So this set is based on Assassin's Creed 3, where you play as the Assassin Connor, uh, where you fight Templars in North America. Most of them are on the English Redcoat side, so this is quite fitting for the game. So let's take a look at the figures, and we'll start off with Connor. So I've been looking forward to Connor for a while. He's one of my favourite assassins. He gets a lot of hate from the community, but he's one of my favourites in terms of style and his costume appearance. So I really, really was looking forward to this figure, and it does not disappoint. Now this figure uses the standard Assassin's Creed body, so it features multiple points of articulation. You can move the arms, you can move the legs, you know, they all move. Um, the hood comes off and you can replace it with the her piece right there. Uh, you get the pistol for him and you get the nice clip on hidden blade right here. It's a fantastic little um, accessory, I'm glad that they keep on including them. It's an ingenious way of incorporating the main Assassin weapon. So I'll just put him down here on the board. Okay, so also, as you can see here, you have the red uh, detail. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the um, dangling cloth piece off it, um, but still, it's good that they included the red belt section at the very least. You also get the brown sash that can have a sword or a pistol put in the side. I tend not to use these as I've had a lot of them tear off. I think the weapons are a bit too thick for them, or the rubber breaks, I'm not sure what's the cause of it, but I do tend to um, not use them. But it still looks great as an accessory piece around him like that. Uh, my only a little issue with this guy is I would have used the um, alternate Assassin's Creed hood that they've done, where there's no bottom section. Uh, this, with the bottom section here, um, it creates a lot of limited articulation. Uh, you can't really turn his head very easily, and it gets in the way of the uh, brown uh, belt, as I mentioned. So it's uh, quite a shame that it, it, it's limiting. It is limiting, but it's still a great figure. The blue details run all around the figure. Um, it's really highly detailed. Absolutely love it. And... The tomahawk is fantastic. You've got this nice new sculpted piece. I'm surprised Mega did it because it's a unique piece that they probably can't reuse much because we've never seen any other Assassin Jews. But it's great that they've done it. And the nice silver paint that they've added to it as well is absolutely fantastic. There's a quick look here with his hair. Um, it's a nice little piece. It's the same hair that we've had before. But it fits Connor um, as he has this style early on in the game. It then gets shaved into like a war. Um, appearance but for now they, I'm happy with this hood. I usually have the hood on so I can't complain. This does however not limit the articulation so if you do have issues with the hood it might be worth changing it over. So here we have the English forces of this troop pack and looking at these together as they are mostly the same figures just with different colours and a few different accessories but past that they share all the same articulation, they share the same heads the only difference is, like I said, is the accessories and the um, paint. So as you can see, this one here is meant to be some sort of officer type. He comes equipped with the sword, the um, sheath for it. Again, I wouldn't recommend using it because they do rip a lot and it's quite hard to get a replacement for them. Um, so use them at your own risk, I would say. Uh, you get the nice white painted um, parts to the lower part of the jacket, the nice painted belt. And the nice white trim to his little hat here. Fantastic figure. Probably one of my favourites out of the set. Um, minus Connor, of course. But the white really makes him stand out. I will point out, however, that the costumes on these guys are quite inaccurate to the game and, of course, history. Uh, the lower sections of these figures are quite inaccurate. Different colours, of course. And the jackets are quite inaccurate as well. Now that's not to say that this toy is bad, of course, it is just a toy for 2 inch figures. They are fantastic figures, they fit the role of red coats, obviously with the red coats pretty well. But no doubt there's some history buffs out there that it might annoy. That's your choice, I feel that it's still a nice set, definitely recommended. But if you don't like it, then I recommend you complain to Mega so they don't do it on a future set. Now we'll also look at this little guy here as well. Now this one is a pretty much just a standard soldier. He comes with the nice musket with the bayonet attached to it. 
Um, it has a nice little grip down here, which the other guy is gripping here, as you can see. It does look a bit awkward, um, but it still works quite well. Uh, as you can see, you get the white paint trim on the bottom of his jacket. You get another sash for him to put his sword or pistol in if you want to use the one from Connor. But other than that, it's just a generic soldier, nothing to write home about. And the same goes for this guy here. The only difference here is that he has a different lower coat section. It's not the one that Connor uses that's repainted like on these two. It is like more of the old assassin style design. Still has the white trim and of course you get the white sash. Another rifle, which I'm not complaining about. Great little figure, and like I said, they match the red coats pretty well, save for historical accuracy. But they still fit the bill, having red coats and all. Definitely great figures. Now, let's take a look at the terrain piece that's included in this set. You get a nice little fort wall that's meant to represent, yet of course, the Union Jack. Again, this is a little inaccuracy to the set because um, this flag wasn't used at this point in time. It was slightly different. Again, I'll let it slide because it is just a toy and I like having little unique flags. We've had the assassin flag, we've had the pirate flag, so it's great to see that we get another flag now. So the rest of this terrain is pretty basic. It's just made up of two boards with a little interconnecting section here. You get the barrel, which is a great little piece. You can put the weapon in it if you want. Get a nice little bush, which I'm happy with. I love getting these. It just adds to a bit of terrain difference. So I'm glad that they included that. But past that, it's just a little piece to display your figures on. Nothing to write home about, but it is nice and it fits the part with the figures completely. You can have an assassin jumping off these if you want. You can pose him on top of it as if he's jumping down onto the troops. And so it serves its part pretty well. Really happy with this piece. Um, I like it over a lot of the others that we've had. Um, I didn't really like the pirate one, I've got to be honest, but this one looks really good. It really fits the Assassin's Creed 3 vibe very well. So overall here we get a fantastic little troop pack that represents Assassin's Creed 3 fairly well. You know, you've got your main enemies, you've got the main assassin from that game, you've got some great accessories, it's a really fitting uh, piece and I'm glad that they've done it because now we've had things from Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4, so I'm really happy that they are covering all the games and not just covering on the main one that's out each year. It's a really great set, highly recommended if you pick it up. Um, I know it's been hard to find, uh, some of these did show up on Amazon, so a few have shown up in certain stores in the wild, um, so it really is hit and miss if you can find it. I'd recommend you just look on the internet, look around, it might be hidden somewhere, so keep your eyes peeled. It is definitely a worthwhile set, and even if you don't collect Assassin's Creed, um, the parts from this set, you know, the heads, the weapons, they go great with any other um, Mega Box line that you're collecting. So it's really recommended that you pick this up for whatever use you have for it. Okay, so that's it for this review. Uh, I'll be reviewing some more sets in the coming weeks. Uh, we've got some new Call of Duty, Halo and Terminator sets, which is a change. Um, we'll be reviewing those shortly, so stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and tell me what you think of this set. Bye!